Hello, I'm Martin Saddle from Dent Remover and thank you for checking out part two of my large and complex dent repair. If you missed part one, then it's in the link above. And basically in part one, we looked at the vehicle, checked the damage out, explained all the different areas that needed repairing, looked at tool choice, and then we started the repair. In part two, we're gonna carry on the repair because there's still some tricky areas that need sorting out. And then at the end, we'll show you a really good look at the finished results. So let's go and dive straight into the repair. Okay, so just to recap on what I've repaired already, I've cold glue pulled the majority of the dent out, and then I've lifted up the horizontal crease, which was just above the factory body line, and then I tidied up the left hand part of the door with that nasty dent. Now I'm turning my attention to the right hand side of this damage, the small vertical crease which goes straight through the body line. I'm also going to tap down the crown which is below it. As you can see, this damage is lifting up really well with the glue system. So I'm going to carry on for a little bit longer, just shocking it out with a slide hammer until it sits a bit higher than what it should do and then we'll tap it back down with a blending hammer and a knockdown. There's plenty of tapping going along here and I have speeded it up again because it did take quite a while to start blending it all back in. But once I've straightened out the obvious dents, I can then get my sharp bar in there between the frame and the panel and lift out all the shallower areas. Changing directions now and another bar, I'm using the homemade flag tip bar. I'm roughly repairing the panel where my finger is, just kind of working back on myself. It's a little bit awkward to do, and ideally it would have been better if I could have took the door off and put it on a stand. But because the bolts and the hinges are heavily painted, I don't want to crack the paint, so the door's gonna stay on. I quickly changed tools. I don't know if you noticed that, but I was using the pistol grip tool to directly push behind the panel. And now I'm gradually working towards the LED light. Just working above the body line area, cross-checking that large horizontal crease that I repaired earlier. Okay, all the other areas are shaped up really nicely but we've still got one area that we need to repair. And this is the bottom part. It's a very tricky repair, so stay with me and I'll show you how it's done. The first thing I need to do is put a tab just above where that crease line is. And I need to work this area from left to right because the reason why there's a crease line on that frame is because the area above is slightly low. So until this area is lifted up, there's no point even trying to tap that crease line down. Only when I'm happy with how the panel's sitting above this crease, I can then start to knock it down very carefully, but only using a blunt tip knockdown. Again, with this part, I've had to speed up the video and you can appreciate just how long it takes to tap this tiny little crease down. Looking good so far, but I can just see it's slightly low right on that bottom edge. So I'm using the Keiko Ice Tabs because they're long and thin and they stick like crazy and we're going to pull that bottom edge right out. So bearing in mind that this area that I'm trying to repair, it's triple skinned, it's got factory glue from the inside which is extremely hard, so to lift any kind of metal in this area, these little tabs do such a great job. I'm only making small gains from each pull, but the end results will speak for themselves.
with large repairs like this it's hard to understand how much goes into doing the actual repair but as you can see every little part has been very intricate so we're nearly at the end of this repair just a few final tweaks with a blunt knockdown and then I'm using the sharp bar just to pick up the few final lows okay so that's the main door repaired let's go take a look at the other one this dent is tiny in comparison to what I've just repaired but still I'm going to show you how I repair it so the first thing I need to do is attach my LED board to the panel and turn it on then need to get a Keiko tab roughly the same shape as the crease glue it to the panel and then get the mini lifter and give it a pull and again these Keiko tabs don't take any prisoners pull that dent right out so now I've just got to use a sharp tap down just to blend it back into its former shape for the second pull I'm using a smaller Keiko tab getting it just above the body line giving it a couple of seconds to set and then instead of giving the mini lifter a snappy pull we're just going to give it a gentle pull and this will bring out the dent a lot more precisely once I've removed the glue tab, just wipe away all the degreaser and then I can tap down all the slight high areas. Changing position so I can repair it from the other direction, I just need to put a small tab right on the frame edge because for some reason it's just sitting a little bit low in this area. And that's it, we're just about done. A quick look with the inspection board and then we just need to fit it all back up again. Fitting the door back up is simple enough. Once we'd attached the door mechanism rod, clipped the wiring loom back in place and fitted all the sound deadening, we placed this trim back on and carefully tapped the clips back into place. Okay, so just before we take a look at the finished results, I'd just like to say a big thank you for watching my videos so far. And if you did like them, it'd be great to get a thumbs up and you can leave a comment below. If you didn't like them, then don't be shy, just tell us why. If you haven't subscribed already, it'd be great to get you on board because this really does help my channel grow. You can also tick the notification bell and you'll be notified as soon as I bring out another video. So again, thank you very much. Cheers, let's go and take a look at the finished results and see you later.